Today I'm gonna to talk to you about painting your exterior lanai. And when I say exterior lanai, I mean it's not completely enclosed. So much like what I'm standing in right now, we're inside a lanai and when you look out, you can see your bird-caged pool or your yard or whatever. It's not enclosed, so there's no air conditioning in here. So this is gonna require some special paint, guys, and we're gonna get into the best paints to use. It's Becky with Home Handy. All right, it's starting to heat up in Florida. People are spending more time on their lanais and in their pools. And so we've had clients have us come out and paint their lanais so it looks nice for them. Many of them already have, you know, a little bit of mold or mildew build up on the walls or on the ceiling. So I want to make sure if you have any mold or mildew before you paint, make sure you put a good primer on there. Kills is just fine. We also use Zinser. I've done a video about that in the past. You can check that out. Now, once you get your walls primered, you're going to want to pick a great paint. So remember, this is an outdoor lanai. There's no air conditioning. So you want to make sure you're using an exterior paint. The same is true on your ceiling. Don't use a regular ceiling paint, okay? That doesn't work on the outside. So you want to use exterior paint. And the best paint when you're wanting to combat mold and mildew in the state of Florida, we always use Sherwin-Williams. Now, you don't have to go to Sherwin-Williams. You can pick this up at your local Lowe's, and this is the stuff you want. Weather Shield. It's awesome and amazing, so please take note of that. Guys, this will make your paint last a lot longer, and it will block any mold or mildew from hitting the walls, okay? It's a really thick paint, so be aware of that. Most lanais have a stucco on them, so you're gonna wanna use a one half to a three quarter. We actually are using three quarter inch nap on our rollers to roll that on. You can also spray it, uh, but you don't have to use a brush. You can use a roller and use a three quarter inch nap. And then this stuff right here is super, super thick. So you're probably going to need twice as much paint as you think that you're going to need. It's going to soak into that pad and it's going to soak into your stucco. So as an example, this is the project that we are just wrapping up. Uh, these walls took about a half a gallon of kills just to kind of seal everything up and, and deal with the mold and mildew that were already existing on the walls. And then we followed up with the top coat of the Sherwin-Williams paint and it took about a gallon and a quart to top coat this. So that kind of gives you an idea, you know, a half a gallon of kills versus a gallon and a quart, almost a gallon and a half. All right, that's it for today from Home Handy. I hope you found this useful. Remember guys, definitely hit your walls also with Kills or Zenser Primer before you paint and also use exterior paint on both your walls and your ceiling. Thanks so much. If you ever need our help, give us a call, 303-531-1553. And our website is located right here. Uh, always feel free to give us a, a call or get in touch. Thanks so much. Have a great day.